Welcome back to Sunset's Ponies, everyone. So, um, I didn't think I'd do another video so soon, but I had some really great finds um, at the flea markets recently. Um, so, I haven't had the chance to clean them all up. These are just the way they came. Um, so, I really thought that I would um, just show off uh, what all I've got and um, I'll have to clean them up in another time. But I thought y'all would find it interesting. Um, also, to begin with, um, I keep up with Craigslist pretty frequently, and so, um, because I found some good, uh, good finds before, so, um, I did find this Twilight, So Soft Twilight, um, she's been one that I've wanted for a while, and so I got her for a pretty good deal, um, she does have, definitely, she's not mint, she has marks, um, I'm thinking that I will maybe do a So Soft cleanup. Um, tutorial um, at some point or, or even just trying out some different um, techniques um, because I haven't done a huge amount of like really trying to get marks off of, of um, so softs before um, but she does have um, missing flocking around the edges which is pretty common with so softs um, some people will sometimes um, deflock these um, which I have never done. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime. Um, but I don't think I'm going to deflock her. Um, I'm just going to try to clean up her flocking and, and see how nice she'll look. She has gorgeous pink hair because this is the fading pink color. So the fact that it's still pink is great. Um, so I'm very excited about her. Let me put her to the side. But I also have all of these other ponies that I found and other the toy 80s toys. Um, that I found uh, at the flea markets recently. So let's just do something new. Let's just go ahead and just dump all of these out here and we'll just take a look at them. Ooh. All kinds of stuff here. And that's a lot of pony goodness. So much pony goodness. It's going to be a lot of cleanup for sure. Um, so that'll that'll give me something to do this summer in, in addition to all of my other projects. Um, and probably a lot of these are um, I will sell at the um, convention this fall in San Antonio. I have a lot of pony stacking up. Um, because, of course, I had intended to um, sell last year and they've just been holding on to them um, rather than selling them online. So, um, let's take a look. So, we have Sundance. Pretty common pony here. Sundance. Um, this is, if I'm correct, a uh, baby sparkle pony. So, I think this one is baby firefly. Um, but it's baby sparkle pony. Very cute. I really like this pose. Um, we have a um, galaxy, so that's a twinkle-eyed pony. Twinkle-eyed pony. Her eyes are very twinkly. So we're just gonna have to do a lot of cleanup on her because um, she's very dirty and looks like maybe has some gray grind. But we'll, we'll clean her up. I actually, there's another twin uh, galaxy over here. So I've got two. Um, and this one has a saddle on her. Um, oh, and she also has a sticker. So it looks like her original child owner. If I can get the saddle off. Her original child owner looks like she put her sticker that came with her on the pony so we'll have to see about trying to get that off this galaxy sticker so I have two galaxies here you can definitely see um, the the ch batch differences I think besides also age differences in their color so let's see what else we have here so this is um, from the keeper line I didn't have any keepers growing up um, so that was a whole line of cute little animals that were made to be keep your little trinkets and stuff in them so 
Um, I don't know a great deal other than to recognize one when I see it. Um, but he's very cute and it looks like it's made to like just squeeze it and then you can put your little trinkets in there and keep them safe and hidden from your siblings and your parents and whatnot. So, what do you think? Um, and speaking of another 80s um, toy line, so this is Moon Dreamers, which are also made by Hasbro and so also sometimes featured on the TV show. Um, so th this is the lion who came with um, the doll line and oops looks like there was a little water still in there um, I said that I, I hadn't had a chance to clean these up these this one actually I did already clean up which is why there's still water in there um, because it was very very dirty so dirty that I didn't even want to show it online so it looks like he's still got a little water um, I'll have to clean that up some more but anyway, this is the line from Moon Dreamers. I don't know the name. I don't know all the specifics. I didn't have any Moon Dreamers either. But again, just enough to recognize a few of the characters. Okay, so we have a sparkler. So, her symbols are pretty decent, but she's got some red on her. These are all very played with. Um, we have a princess uh, brush and grow here. I don't actually remember the names of everybody. Princess Brush and Grow. I'm sure that all of you who are watching, those who know, will tell me the names of everybody. <clears throat> I have, this is Little Flitter. So she also has the fading pink hair, except hers is faded pretty much almost all to white. And her wings a little bit, but not too bad. Very cute. Um, another 80s toy line was um, the um, Get Along game. I don't think these were super popular or like a big hit or anything. I don't know how many people will remember these, but I just recognized them, so I picked them up. So it's the Moose from the Get Along game. So let's see what else we have. There's a Peachy with some tack. So peachy pretty common. And Sestra's just gonna join us here. So this is a baby ember. I think there's two of them. Yep, two baby embers. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess that maybe this family had two children. Um, since there's two galaxies and two baby embers, it very much reminds me of my family where we would get, you know, if one got something, the other one tended to get something, and so sometimes you had the same thing sometimes. So um, this is the baby ember with the star um, that came with a cassette, I believe. So we got her. So a sprinkles, um, a baby frosting. That sticker is still on here. Baby frosting, baby by eye. So these had eyes that will close when you move them. They tend to, to rust because of little metal pieces in there for the eye. Hers are a little rusty, uh, but not too bad. So, um, oh, and then we have uh, I, this is a new one for me, so this one will probably go in my own collection because I don't think I have her. Though it does look like she's got some paint that needs to be cleaned up here. Um, but this is definitely one of the um, um, tropical ponies. So I don't remember her name, so I'll have to look it up. But she's new to me. So that is always exciting when I get new ones. So um, I think there's another one over here that's new to me that's also tropical. This is one of the tropical, tropical babies. So this one is also new to me, so very exciting. Um, this one is baby pineapple. Very cute. Let's see, we have the baby Rice Krispies uh, or um, baby stockings, whichever one you wanna call her. She came as like a prize in the Rice Krispies. That's why she's called, sometimes called 
baby Rice Krispies, but a Christmas baby. So we've got a Firefly. Um, we have um, a cotton candy, concave foot. Here's, a, here's another baby Sparkle Pony. I don't remember this one's name. Let's see. Oh, and there were some G2s in here. So here's a G2. I don't actively, she's got some really bad ink. Um, I don't actively collect G2s, but at this point, they so rarely pop up that I'll probably just keep any G2s I find in person. Um, just because I found it in person and they just are even more rare than finding the G1s in the wild. Um, there's another G2 over here in this bag with some accessories. So I don't know if all of these accessories go with her or not, but so we have this G2. So I don't know her name, but it, she has a sun symbol, so I'm going to guess it's sun something. So I doubt this goes with the pony. But this looks like it could go. Cute little rainbow with the butterfly. And a little fence. And some kind of, this looks like it goes into something, some little mirror. Oh, it probably goes in this. It looks like this is a vanity. Yeah, that's what that's the way it goes. A little vanity. And some little clips and a little comb. So a couple of little flower clips in the comb. So we have some accessories to go with our G2s. I see you. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, sweetheart sister. So, oh, it looks like they had somebody at some point put a for sale sticker in it. Has ink has bled through on her body. So it looks like I am going to have a lot of cleanup to do but I don't remember if I have this one or not I have a few of the sweetheart sisters these were released later in the G1 line and they were sold as kind of teenage um, ponies was the idea so they're definitely taller and skinnier um, than the more traditional adult My Little Ponies okay Oh, and there is a spike over here. There's a spike. And then this one's exciting. Um, so I already have this pony, but the one I own does not have her saddle. So um, this is really actually, interestingly, um, kind of in Hasbro's answer to the, the um, Keepers line, where you had a pony that um, you could turn the little key and her saddle pops up and then you could hide things inside um, inside her body underneath the saddle um, and the saddles um, do have the tendency to snap off um, so you have to be super careful with these um, and so having one with the saddle is always nice and they they did come with like some kind of little um, piece of jewelry like a, a bracelet or a ring um, having that is like even more rare because obviously any child who opens it would immediately take out the jewelry and then it would go in with their play jewelry and so you rarely find these you rarely find the key um, but you even more rarely have the little piece of jewelry that came with it I see you being silly over there Okay, so I also had got um, some uh, G3s. Um, this is one of my favorite G3s. I already have her, but I can't help but pick her up when I see her. Um, and then also something to keep an eye out for. 
this is probably going to happen more often, is um, this is the Reproduction Retro Milo Pony. And so obviously now these things are going to start showing up um, and you'll have to keep an eye out to determine the difference because of course af after uh, I saw it at a distance I was like, oh, a G1. Um, but this is actually the Retro. Can you move? Thank you. This is actually the retro. Um, first clue, um, one, she actually, the color is actually quite nice for something that would have been 30 years old. They do tend to, like you see, they get quite dirty and they, uh, the colors fade. So her color is quite nice. Her symbol is excellent. And then you, and especially you, if you notice the bow um, is a dead giveaway, the way the bow is attached to the little um, elastic um, that is not the way G1 was done, so that's a dead giveaway. And then, of course, if you look under the foot, um, it actually says 2018 um, instead of like a 1980s or a 1990s um, date. Um, so we know that this is um, a retro. Um, there's another one over here. <clears throat> So this one is Medley. Um, at first I thought her tail was cut, but it actually just has a rubber band. So I'll have to take that off and clean her up. But I think people are still looking for these. Um, so I think it's worth, you know, for a couple of bucks um, to pick these up and clean them up. I think that, um, that people will be interested in them. And then there's some more G3s. So I've got an, I think this is Amber Locks, or I'm not entirely certain. Something to do with Amber, I wanna think. Um, but she comes with her little charm that some G3s came with. And a couple more fun G3s. I always like this one because of the colors. It's a great color combination. And just because if I was buying all of her sisters I might as well buy this one too so that's a ton of my little pony that and other 80s toys that I have found while uh, thrifting recently uh, I just thought that y'all would find it interesting um, now I have several weeks uh, worth of uh, cleaning to do um, when I get around to it so um, I'll, I'll definitely have to do a a video at some point on cleaning up a so soft I think that y'all would probably find that interesting um, and so um, also expect another video at some point in the next month or two about the most recent um, retro releases um, they're not showing up in Target um, I don't know if Target just is not make is not selling them anymore or if they'll show up again later in the fall when they they put out the fall um, items but right now they're not selling my little pony um, so I ended up giving up and ordering online the most recent set the one that has Cherry's Jubilee and um, and the others in that set so um, I'm still waiting on two of them um, because they came from way farther away than I thought. Um, do be on a lookout for um, little toy stores, little toy websites that sell vintage type things um, because it does seem like there are some small um, business retailers, toy stores that you might be able to find these on. I found two of them on a small website like that um, and then the other two I bought on from Amazon and those are the two that are look like they're coming from Holland um, which I did not realize when I ordered them um, so they're taking a while to get here but once I have all four of them I will be sure to do a video on um, the most recent set and then we'll be crossing our fingers um, that retailers continue to pick up these lines so that we can continue to get more retro My Little Ponies. All right, well, y'all have a great spring. Um, spring has sprung and all the flowers are blooming and the sun is out. Um, so I hope y'all have a great spring. I'll talk to y'all again later. Bye.